And joining me via Skype is uh, Pastor Femi Fasheru, who is the National Superintendent of Kingsway International Center, KICC. Good afternoon, Pastor. Good afternoon, Awaka. Compliments of the season. Compliments of the season to you too. Now, Pastor, today is Good Friday and majority of Christians have found themselves marking uh, the season and, of course, Easter in a subdued manner, so to speak, that is away from the usual uh, congregation in churches. How do you feel about this? Well, firstly, um, I, I feel like um, it's not like we are celebrating this Easter in a subdued manner. We are just celebrating Easter in a different way. Okay. In fact, on, on hindsight, um, I think this is a very, very significant and relevant way because Easter itself, particularly Good Friday, has to do with the uh, punishment and all the things that Jesus had to go through to redeem humanity, and which obviously also cost him his life. He died for us on the cross of Calvary. And this time that we are kind of on lockdown because of this COVID-19, it basically means that our reflection of Easter this year is going to be very, very personal. Remember when Jesus was sharing the Last Supper with his disciples, he said, do this in remembrance of me. So I believe that because we are not congregating as we used to, physically it gives each and every one of us the opportunity to reflect personally on our relationship with jesus christ to reflect on what jesus did on the cross of calvary it gives us opportunity personally to be able to understand why he had to die for us All right, he pastor. also gives us all right, Pastor yes, Femi, I'm, I'm sorry to interject. Uh, but some pastors are asking that the federal government uh, to lift the lockdown on large church uh, gatherings in order to celebrate the Easter. What do you think about this? The celebration of Easter has to start from the fact that we have to rejoice in the fact that Jesus died for us. And this joy is something that is within us. Yes, we can celebrate with one another in the usual manner that we've always known. But I believe that at the point where the nation is right now with COVID-19, the experts, medical experts, World Health Organization, they have advised that the best thing is that we maintain um, social distancing so that we can preserve lives, which is what Jesus, why Jesus went to the cross of Calvary. So I think it is not wise for us to push, for us to be allowed to have Easter celebration when it can actually make this situation of COVID-19 to be worse in our nation. So I believe that um, we can have good Easter celebration without congregating. Okay. Like I said, it's a personal thing. It's a spiritual thing. And this gives us a unique, different way for us to be able to celebrate the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, and of course, the resurrection. Lastly, and very quickly, Pastor, what would you say is the significance and lessons inherent in Good Friday, the day that we are commemorating today? I understand that, you know, when you look at the account of what happened, uh, um, that fateful Friday, how Jesus was flogged, how Jesus had to carry his, um, his cross, how he was crucified on the cross, how he had to die on the cross of Calvary. It's difficult for anybody to look at that Friday and say it's a good Friday. But when we put the significance of that day into perspective, we find out that with that act, we were redeemed. We were redeemed of the Lord. We were redeemed. Man was, man was on the way to hell. But Jesus opened a door by which we can find a way of escape. When we think about the significance, what he did by making us to be able to have access to health and divine healing. When we know how he redeemed our mind so that we can have the mind of Christ. How we are also breached back to God, our maker, and have a relationship, father and son relationship with God, then we find out that that Friday, truly for humanity, it is a good Friday. And guess what? Also, for even God himself and the host of heaven, they are rejoicing 
on what happened that day. So it's Good Friday for all of us. All right. Thank you so very much, Pastor Femi Fasheru, for your thoughts there. And do have a great Easter celebration. Thank you so much, Amaka. Thank you.